of the 2003 Track and Field World Championships presented by Adidas. Along with Terrell Lewis, Larry Rawson, Dwight Stones, I'm Terry Gannon. Plenty of action on tap tonight, but we want to take you back to a thrilling race last night. The men's 3,000-meter steeplechase. See the world record, the championship record, Moses Kiptanui, who is now the head coach for the Kenyan team. They have been dominant throughout the years. It was a thrilling race. Here's your lineup in Saif Saeed Shaheen. You don't know the name, but you'll hear plenty about him. Ruben Koske, Ezekiel Kemboy, some of the top names, Abraham Sharono in the world of steeplechase. And the place was rocking. Better than 50,000 on hand last night here in Paris. And right now, we'll take you back to take a look at how Larry Rawson and I called the action. Coming into the championships, this was one of the most anticipated distance races here in Paris because, Larry, there is quite a compelling personal story here. It involves the favorite, Saif Saeed Shaheed. You may not know that name until a few weeks ago. He was Stephen Toronto and he was from Kenya. Now he runs for Cutter. You know, I tell you, about this race and what may happen, I think this could be a wow, and Keith Jackson would say, whoa, Nelly. <laughs> and so what's coming up here? And the reason, and there you see, that is another athlete from Qatar that is in the lead, and that is Kamis Abdullah. And he is, I think, pacing the man behind him, the former Stephen Chirono, and whose now his last name is Shaheen. Quickly, here's the story. It usually takes years to leave one country and run from another. All of a sudden, it was announced very quickly, Kenya agreed. And Cutter said, we are very aggressive about building a track team. They picked one of the greatest young talents, 20 years of age, number 1121, the former Stephen Chirono, to run for Cutter and leave Kenya. It was done in days. And the, the Cutter official said, maybe something financially took place at the government level. I don't know. Everybody believes it does. He's only supposedly getting $1,000 a month in retirement, maybe some performance bonuses, but it doesn't make sense. And I'll tell you, Kenya is very upset about it among the athletes in his country. More on that story as this race continues, but they'll go seven and a half laps, 28 hurdles in all, four each lap, they're three feet high and seven water jumps one each lap and joining those two athletes from cutter abraham chirono the brother of the favorite coming in saif saeed shaheed and abraham who is running for kenya says i will not call him by his new name he is stephen chirono to me and to many others he said he is he is blood to me and my brother and that is him in third place right now and i think he's running more in emotion he's got a best time that's 14 seconds behind his brother who is right beside him now and Larry, it's, it's a lightning pace. They want that first lap in about 60 seconds. Exactly right, Terry. You know, watching the light turnover, I knew it was fast. I didn't get the first quarter here. But this is, uh, you know, they're under world record pace here. And there goes Shaheen early in the race. You know, this is, uh, this is amazing. He is well under world record pace. And he is going to go against Tisham El Garouge in the 5,000 meters later in these championships. He beat El Garouge at 5,000 meters. I don't know why he's running so hard now. Doesn't look, make sense. I looked just a moment ago at what it's like to be in the water pit in the steeplechase for the 3,000. I've been there. <laughs> Not on purpose, I hope. <laughs> no, I ran this race and fell in one. Saif Saeed Shaheen, now from Qatar, only 20 years of age, with the fastest times in the world this year in the 5,000 and in the steeplechase. And there's the chase group, including Ezekiel Kemboy. Watch out for him from Kenya. Ali Azim from Morocco was there. Luis McGee, uh, Miguel Martin from Spain, also a part of that group. You mentioned Ezekiel uh, uh, Kemboy from Kenya, who's back in the pack. To show you how fast this pace is, these guys lost, Kemboy lost to this man now, I'll call him Toronto for now, because people know the name, by one one hundredth of a second a week ago. You can't even see Kemboy now. That is the brother in the picture to the right, Abraham, who says half of our family will not speak to Stephen right now. Mm. Well, it's a family that is well-versed in distance races and in the steeplechase. Older brother Christopher Koske was the 97 world champion, also a sister, Jennifer, who's running steeplechase. And the Kenyans have dominated this event like no country has dominated any event in the world championships or the Olympics. They've won the last six gold medals at the world championships and seven of the last nine Olympic gold medals. And, you know, even second place and third, to, to carry your point, Terry, in the last six uh, world championships, they had five silvers and two bronzes to go with those goals. It's just 
astounding how well they've done. You know, he's slowing down a little bit up there now. Is hey, there's the French runner, Bob Tari, and uh, the local product, and the fans have been all over the French athletes here. They've been extremely supportive. They have been terrific. The spectators here, this whole thing has been a great event thus far. We're still early, but look at the lead that we should call him Shaheen because that is his new name now has on the field. It is astounding what he's trying to do, going after the world record. The final time, for those of you who aren't familiar with 3,000 meters in this event, is a half a lap shy of a full two miles. So add about another 40 to 41 seconds to the final time, and you'll be running a full two miles over 28 hurdles and seven water jumps. So there's your time, 438 and counting, and just over three laps to go here in what is an extremely grueling 3,000 steeplechase. From the barrier to the edge of the water jump is 12 feet. These guys come close to clearing that whole thing. Larry, you saw just a moment ago Ezekiel Kemboy moving up right behind Shaheen. And the rest of the field here, Abraham Chirono still in the thick of things. I think, Terry, the pace is getting to him a little bit. And you're right, that is Ezekiel Kemboy trying to move up, running an intelligent race here. And slowing down, I think, with the fatigue of this effort a bit, is Shaheen up in the lead. Look at this move. Making a huge move right now. Ezekiel Kemboy, and he's gaining, and he's looking to get up right to the side. The favorite Shaheen, and he goes right by him. Ezekiel Kemboy from Kenya. I can't believe how slowly right now Shaheen is running. Now, Kemboy I should be, I think, moving away from him and putting on some pressure. He's looking back to join him. So the Spaniards moving up just a moment ago, and back comes Shaheen. The man Manning a little bit on Kemboy, Larry. Terry, the man running with Shaheen right now, Ezekiel Kemboy, is really angry at him right now, and he said what he has done is sell out our country. And the Kenyans, if you know them, are gentle people, and they rarely criticize each other. And he is really angry, and he feels like he's running for his country, and has said, my utmost effort will be given to beating this man. Under two laps to go now, and you saw a moment ago the red jerseys of the Spaniards, Luis Miguel Martin and Alicio Martin, so they are up there as well. I'm surprised that Shaheen up in the lead, the former Steven Ch Toronto, and there you see Kemboy beginning to press the pace a bit. I'm surprised he, he left for another reason. In the last two weeks, if he wins first place, Shaheen, formerly Toronto. He wins $100,000 between his last race and this one. Why would you have to leave Kenya when bus fare is 15 cents? He says he's getting paid $1,000 per month for life. Compared to the purses out here on the circuit, doesn't seem like it's enough. Here come the Spaniards. Look at how this pace is worn on Shaheen. Kemboy up in the lead. Look at them close in and a crowd going wild because of one of their French athletes has moved up well. Alicio Martin, Luis Miguel Martin from Spain. On the move also Bob Tari in the blue from France. Last and lap. The lead has changed hands once again. Now, the two men in front at the Zurich meet ran within one one-hundredth of a second over this distance with Shaheen, the former Toronto, now beside him, winning the race. That is him taking the lead. There goes Shaheen. Ezekiel Kemboy from Kenya, the 21-year-old battling a 20-year-old. Former teammates from Kenya, but now on opposite sides. What a race this has developed into. And both of them at one time had the world junior record for teenagers, and they know each other well. Spaniards coming over the final hitter. Here we come down the final stretch. Shaheen, there he is on the inside, but here comes Ezekiel Kemboy to take the lead. Kemboy has the lead. Can Shaheen stay with him? He fights back on the inside, and there he goes. Saeed, Saeed Shaheen now wins the world championship for Cutter. Ezekiel Kemboy ends up in second with the silver, and Alicio Martin from Spain wins the bronze. What a finish. You're exactly right. Look at the strain in the face of the man on the left carrying the whole country of Kenya. Can he beat a man who left his country? And he's trying hard and realizes with five steps to go, I can't get him. His brother Abraham Chirono, and I'm talking about Shaheen, will wind up in fifth place here at these championships. So Saeed Saeed Shaheen, now from Qatar, the fastest time in the world this year in the 5,000 and the steeplechase, and now he wins the gold medal. He's got the Qatar flag. I wonder if he's seen that before. <laughs>
and back live now and he said afterwards they had never heard the national anthem of Qatar before they uh, <laughs> played it and uh, Saif Saeed Shaheen with the world title Ezekiel Camboy the silver medal and Alicio Martin finishes with the bronze medal that was last night in the men's 3,000 steeplechase